Hello and welcome to this Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm Yugi Pom and today we're going to take a look at how to install Hawks Must Die. Um, I can't show you the game because it doesn't have uh, window mode. Um, when you try to do full screen it won't work because uh, um, the recordings don't get the full screen. Uh, I don't know why but that's how it is so I can't show you it. So. But let's go through the installation process. Um, to get it you have to have wine. So get, um, let's see here, to have bind, let's go to the terminal and type in sudo apt get install Y. Um, it goes really quickly, so just install that and you will have wine. So let's close this one down. And when you have wine, <coughs> you can go to wine tricks, uh, just search wine tricks. And open up, and this will pop up here. Um, you're gonna go with a default white prefix. You can do other prefixes to different kind of ROMs, like different kind of. It becomes like a hard drive. So uh, choose the default one, and we're gonna install some fonts. Uh, I have installed. I'm not sure you have to do all this on installation, but I have done it on similar games so why not and um, you click on the fonts to install I've chosen um, Korean fonts so for some reason <laughs> uh, I have MSI Arial Courier Times fonts and um, Red Hat fonts and Tomo so let's go out of there and we're gonna go also have some Windows components or DLLs and open that up and you will see we will have a lot of choice here to install it. Um, this is DirectX. Uh, I've installed. Uh, I don't know why why I have installed all of them, but try to with some newer ones. I think 36 will be enough. Um, I have some direct filter. I don't think that's necessary. Uh, DirectX might be necessary, and the .NET is necessary. So don't forget the dot .NET here. Uh, this isn't necessary, this isn't necessary, uh, let's go down here. Um, VC run is necessary, you need this, and um, I believe that's it. Yeah, the others is just from other installations. So wine tricks is very useful, please use it. Um, it comes with wine, so I have my search thing here, so I open up rather easily, but if you have the... Um, uh, Unity, you can. I have disabled my Unity because I don't like it, so I just open that up and search in the Unity thingy and you will find it. So, yeah, mm, I'm gonna close this one down and then just install Steam, it's really easy. You download the Steam from the um, website and then just install it by right clicking and install through Vine. Um, and then we're gonna go and install it. Um, Spasm out rather more off. And just click the double click to install the Orcs Must Die and then just play. And when I'm gonna click play now, it won't work, then, but I will show you that it doesn't work because it goes to full screen and all becomes black. So let's see here. Now you probably ain't seeing much, so yeah. This is the. Um, Loading. That's so loud. Let's turn that down. You will hear the sound, maybe. <laughs> so yeah. So it works. Um, I hope you trust me, <laughs> or else just uh, ask some questions if you don't understand. So yeah, that's the installation. Um, as I said, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. And I think that's all. Um, I don't have Unity. I can. Uh, let's go through here. If you want to install, uh, if you want to go through Vine Fix, I'm gonna open up my Unity here again and go Vine Fix, and you will have Vine Fix here. Uh, so yeah, that's the installation of Orchestral Life. Thanks for watching.